I came down river today. I haven't done that yet. I was just, uh, you know, you don't know if you're, everything's working right. And uh, so I came down river today because I, I have faith in all my equipment. Um, well, I have faith in that one right there. Uh, and I've been putting in some time fishing today and I'll be, I ain't caught nothing again. I'm not good at river fishing. Get me back to that salt water. I'm heading east. Just keep going. Gotta run into some salt somewhere. I can put a fish in the boat if there's some salt around. Or a pond. Or a lake. Just can't fish this river yet. But look at that cut right there. Oh, that's got fish all over it. Oh, anyway, this little setup I got is better than anything I've ever had. And I've never tried to do anything like this before. So this is first, first time for everything, right? So here's how easy we've been off for, I don't know, 30, shoot, an hour. Motor's been off. Check it. Watch it not crank up first pull because I got y'all on here. Just slow it down, pop her in the gear. And we're off. So cool, man. I literally love this kayak. I mean, I love it. Going under the 903 now. If I were to keep going, I'd run into the 70 again. And then if I were to keep going after that, I'd run into Kempston. Um, right now I'm in the country area. Of, uh, we're just in the country right now. Um, somebody's got a little camp thing set up right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it right back behind me, right back there. Why they had a little grill set up. Well, there's another one right here too. I guess they come down here and party at night. Looks like fire pits. Boy, we used to River's a fun place to party when you're a kid. Anyway, I'm gonna swing this thing around. Oh, I wonder what was going on. I was making so much noise, I had my... Wow, I'm not ready to sink myself. No, just kidding, it wouldn't have sunk myself, but it was swamping the back of the boat. I had my floats in. Uh, where I could stand up and fish and stuff. I had them down in the water. See right here and right here. I can just flip that bar around, put them in the water for fishing, and they come off. Um, or I can flip them up for, for going. I had them in the water a second ago, and it was swamping the boat. Gets up to speed quick. I love it. I freaking love it. We're playing out already. We're going up river, so we're not doing 17. 17 one is as fast as I got it. It was, it has been averaging 15. 15, 16 miles an hour average. 17 was as fast as I got it. Anyway, I'm going to get off here because it gets pretty hairy right up here and I don't want to
Remember that big tree I just showed y'all? I don't know where it is. I mean, it's literally all the way over there. I mean, it crossed. Somebody cut it to get boats through here. This is the deepest point I've found. I do not have my fish finder yet, but I just let out over 20 foot of anchor rope. I know it. I left it, I marked it, and I left it unrolled. I'm on check and see how deep it is right there. But this is the deepest I've found by far. And it's it's 20 foot or so. All right. Perfect. It was a little long, but I popped it right out of the tree and it fell right down into the water. Man. Upset y'all supposed to be putting fish on this boat for y'all Shoot for me and for y'all. We're supposed to be catching fish right now uh. Come on, baby Hit it I'm gonna put you back Don't you want to be a movie star? Here, fishy fishy, don't you want to be a movie star this day? We all want to see you. Um, let me try something. Good God, what a cast. I'm going to let it sit for a second. It is just amazing to me. If that was a pond, that would about guarantee be a fish. They're just other places, but I guess I, again, like I said, it's, it's also uh, really murky, muddy water. And I'm assuming that that is Got something to do with it too. I'm gonna try over here. This is the current. Oh, I made it to my first other bridge. So I put in at a bridge and right, maybe, Oh, I don't know, maybe a football field away, there's a, no, it's further than that. Maybe two football fields away, there's another bridge right back over behind us. Um, I don't know what road it is. I, I don't know. For all I know, it's a wrong turn road. But it's my first bridge I've made it to. Nope, ain't gonna happen. Man, I would have, I really would have thought this would have been a fish. I thought wrong, we're gonna give it one more shot. I'm gonna lay it in between them two trees right there. And then if we don't get a fish, we're gonna move on. Couldn't have got better of a cast. I put it right in a tree, a little one. But like I said, we got that weedless hook. So it just pulled right through. That should be a fish. That should be a fish. I'm reeling slow this time, kind of bumping the bottom. I would assume it's pretty shallow in there. With this 10 pound braid, I can put a freaking sling on it. I mean, I can put it out there. I always fished with 15 and 20 pound braid. And on this pole, I jet, something jumped right when I, right where I hit. Um, on this pole, I uh, switched up. Oh. Come on, hit it. 
Oh no. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. He might have felt the hook. <laughs> twice. He hit it twice. <laughs> Once when I first got in and then I tried to hit him right there and he didn't have the hooks. Probably something small. Still would have been cool. Um anyway. Let's try it one more time. This 10 pound line, I can, it makes a big difference. Big difference. I can put it out there. Anyway, I reckon the fish don't like us today. Or at least not right here. I will tell you one thing though, right up around the corner here, I was just sitting, you couldn't hear the road, and uh, I was off in this cut where the water was still, and I was anchored out just like I am now, and the water was rushing around a tree right to my right. I know I'm doing like this to my left, but it was to my right. And if you don't know what serenity is, sit in a river with nothing but the birds chirping, sun shining, and the river water rushing over anything, rock, tree, waterfall, and just sit. I made a cast and I was fishing with a culprit worm, and I bet that worm sat on the bottom for 10, well, not 10 minutes, but a good couple, two or three minutes before I ever moved it, because I just sat back and thanked God for the time that I do have to spend. I am a lucky man that I can get out here. Y'all hear that? Y'all heard that? That was a Pretty good fish jumping. I don't know if you could, I don't know if you did here or not, but right, right back over there. Um, I'm a lucky man to be able to get out here and do these little things. And it's little things. Like I've y'all saw me put this little boat together. That's not an expensive boat. I'm not a rich person, but I do take, uh, time to appreciate and enjoy the little things in life. There was, all through my 20s and 30s, I did not take that time. And I'm glad to say that today, today I take that time. And I sit back and I relax and I talk to my son I let him sound like a fool sometimes. And I don't correct him. I just let him do it. And I just take it all in. I watch my, my girlfriend with my puppy. And I just watch them. I watch their interaction and how much she loves that dog. And I watch her interactions with Aaron. And, and I, I watch her interactions with me and I, I'm actually stopping and taking the time now to appreciate the small things in life. And that is important. That is super important for me. Really important to stop, relax, take a deep breath and just thank God or your higher power, whatever it is, Thank it for the time that you have now. Anyway, if no one told you they love you today, I do. Peace.